All right, hello, Honors Bio. So uh, this is a screencast on whether viruses are alive or not. So if you can remember that the definition of life is that all living things have the following characteristics. One, they have order or structure. In other words, they're all composed of cells. All living things we produce, all living things grow and develop. They use energy, uh, for example, plants make uh, food by photosynthesis and break down that food by cellular respiration. So all living things need that input of energy. And five, all living things respond to the environment. And six, uh, regulation, all living things must maintain homeostasis such as temperature, uh, proper nutrients for, to sustain uh, life and all living things evolve or they have these evolutionary trait adaptations or traits that allow them to survive to reproduce and pass on those beneficial traits so the big question is whether viruses are alive or not now when you look at viruses uh, here's an electron my micrograph of a bacteriophage now a bacteriophage is a virus that only attacks bacteria. So you can imagine how small this virus is. Now viruses are just composed of protein and nucleic acid. So basically uh, here the stru outside structure is protein and then inside will be the hereditary material, um, either DNA or RNA. So viruses are not composed of cells, but only protein and nucleic acid. Now, viruses are classified according to their shape. So there are many shapes, and each virus has its own host. So there are viruses that only attack particular bacteria. There are viruses that attack particular cells, say in a human. Uh, there are viruses that also um, attack plants. So because viruses have DNA and DNA can change uh, so it has its own evolutionary history that's why every year when you uh, get a vaccination for a flu shot it's a different um, cocktail in that vaccination to to address potential new uh, flu viruses because that flu viruses uh, evolves now, how, viruses reproduce, but it can only reproduce by using another cell. And there's basically two types of cycle. Uh, first of all, the first cycle is called lysogenic cycle, and this word means dormant. And when something is dormant, that means that it's inactive. And um, it just stays in the cell and does not disrupt the normal uh, cells business but then suddenly something triggers it to go into the lytic cycle and the word lytic means to break up and that cycle will make new viruses and release it so the way the virus first um, reproduces is first of all it has to attach it has to attach to the cell and usually the proteins on the virus will recognize the proteins on the cell membrane of a cell once it attaches then it releases the hereditary material when it releases that hereditary material it then combines with the host genome and just becomes part of the host genome. So when the cell divides, the viral DNA also divides and gets copied with the host uh, genome. And, and, and the cell continues regular business. But then suddenly something triggers that viral DNA to go into the lithic pathway. And when that happens, the viral DNA will take over the cell's uh, genome, make it, uh, make it, uh, 
produce viral parts and it'll assemble the new uh, viruses. And then once those new viruses are assembled, then it breaks open or lyses the cell and millions and millions of viruses are released. So uh, virus cannot reproduce on its own, but it does need a host to reproduce. It does not grow and develop. It does not use energy. It does not maintain homeostasis or respond to stimuli. So the question is, is virus alive or not? So we know that viruses are not made up of cells. If you go back here, viruses do not have cells, but they do have protein and DNA. They reproduce using another cell. They don't grow and develop. Whoops. They don't use energy. They don't respond to the environment. And they don't have homeostasis, but they do evolve. So if the definition of life is that all living things must have cells, reproduce, grow and develop, use energy, maintain homeostasis, um, evolve, that means viruses are not alive. Even though it does show, even though it does share the characteristics that it does have DNA and then it does evolve, and, but reproduces using another cell. Now, in today's world, scientists still argue, some argue that viruses are alive because it has evolutionary history, and, um, and then most scientists will say, no, it's not alive because it does not contain all those characteristics.